Um, hi, I'm Nicole Gear, co-founder and CEO of Lonakai Labs. Now, most of you here have had the opportunity to interact with a connected device before, whether it's a smart camera or a video doorbell. Now, let's imagine you want to do something as simple as getting live video off of your device. Sounds easy, right? But right now, you have to launch a dedicated mobile application, send a request up to a cloud-based service, wait for that request to get down to your connected device, send that live video up to the cloud, and eventually display that on your mobile application. Now, by then, it's really anything but live. And more than that, nearly every connected device globally operates the same way. It's complex, it's expensive, it's insecure, and it's really slow. We're talking three to six seconds delayed on that live feed that you're viewing. But it doesn't have to be this way. That's actually why we built Lanakai Labs. We're a real-time communication platform specifically tailored for connected devices. We leverage peer-to-peer -peer connections between an endpoint and a connected device. These peer-to-peer -peer connections are end-to-end -end encrypted, so you know nobody's snooping on your data. We're helping companies move away from the cloud, so they're saving huge amounts on cloud-based services. And these peer-to-peer -peer connections allow us to do audio, video, remote control, artificial intelligence, all in true real time. We're talking sub 200 milliseconds. But it's a very technical solution to a very technical problem. So are we the right people to build it? Well, we're a team of Caltech engineers and a UCLA MBA. We're, <laughs> we're ex-Department of Defense, ex-Google, ex-Tesla. We have a combined over 20 years of experience in artificial intelligence, connected devices, and cybersecurity. But most importantly, we have extensive early stage startup experience with two successful exits under our belts. So we know the market and we know the technology. But why connected devices and why now? Well, we're in the middle of a connected device explosion. There's an estimated 75 billion devices coming online by 2025. And these devices are not OK with a three to six second delay. We're seeing real-time requirements across robotics, manufacturing, surveillance, autonomous vehicles, basically everything but your consumer smart camera. And there's a couple of other tailwinds that we're riding right now. To get into some of the nerdy, technical, and I think fun stuff, we're seeing hardware convergence for connected devices, which means the vast majority of devices are moving over to something called ARM Linux system on a chip. I know, bear with me here. But <laughs> what that means is that we're able to build an all-in-one platform that works for nearly every connected device. Likewise, we're also seeing widespread H.264 encoding support, I'm almost done, I promise, um, across everything from smartphones to browsers to operating systems. This H.264 encoding support means that you can now interact with and control a connected device from just about anything. It doesn't have to be a dedicated mobile application. But I've been talking about the market. What does it actually look like? Well, we're initially targeting the $1 billion smart camera market, the reasoning behind that is smart cameras are what are powering nearly every use case for connected devices. All of your robotic arms, your autonomous vehicles, your drones, everything related to surveillance, I know it's a little creepy, but that's all powered by smart cameras. So we're targeting this segment first and moving out from there into the $85 billion global market for connected devices. But first, smart cameras. So we've identified our initial segment to launch in, which is consumer and industrial use cases. Now, those consumer devices are things you've probably interacted with, like your Ring doorbell, your Nest Cam, your Arlo. But there are some huge industrial and enterprise players behind the scenes, like Verkata and Lorex, that you've probably never heard of. But combined, smart cameras are a $1 billion per year industry, growing at over 20% per year. Now, as I mentioned, $85 billion global software market for connected devices, so there are some huge players in the space. We'll be competing against the Amazons and the Googles of the world, as well as companies like IBM and Microsoft. But by building the first connected device platform that's real time, off the shelf, and with a low monthly fee, we're poised to blow the competition out of the water. Now, how much of this have we actually built? Well, we'll go through the timeline now. But we started Lanakai Labs in December of 2018. We launched a proof of concept to not only make sure the technology works, but that there's a need in the market. We joined the Venture Accelerator here at Anderson in May, and we launched the beta version of our platform in June. We currently have several hundred developers testing out our technology and helping us identify any and all bugs before we, over the next six months, launch the MVP of our platform, hire our first employee, and launch our first paid pilot. Which brings us to our ask for today. 
we are looking for introductions to connected device companies, which is where y'all come in. If you know somebody who's working on a smart camera, a robotic arm, autonomous vehicle, drone, or anything like that, or anybody who works in cloud-based services that we're directly competing against, we would love to meet them. <laughs> so uh, if you know somebody we should connect with, or if you just want to stop by and see a really, really cool demo, um, I'd love to chat with you. So thank you. <laughs>